it's Elizabeth Townsend Low Carb, and on this episode, I'm going to do a review of the Magic Pill. Coming up next. Hi guys, it's Elizabeth Townsend Low Carb. I am so glad you are here. If you don't know me, hello. I'm the Countess. I've written a book, number one Amazon new release, The Mom's Guide to Ketosis. Um, how I lost 50 pounds, I have another 50 pounds to go, but I am racing towards that goal. So, if you haven't heard the word bird, here's the word. The magic pill. You need to run to go watch this movie if you have not. Go run, go run, I'll wait. I'm going to put in the link below, um, the links so you can go check it out on Amazon or a couple of other resources all down below. And as always, if you like this video, make sure you click like, subscribe, uh, so we can see each other more and talk more about other things, all things keto, weight loss, intermittent fasting, good stuff like that. So I watched The Magic Pill. Y'all shared it with me and said, you must go watch this, Elizabeth. You have got to go watch this. Um, and I think it is an amazing movie. I give it two countess thumbs up, two golden thumbs up. I would highly recommend it for people to go check it out. Um, it was worth watching it. Um, it it's runtime is an hour and a half. And so for me, with a two-year-old, that's a commitment. I'm making a commitment to watch an hour and a half movie. And I loved it. And one of the reasons why I loved it is because I live in the Shenandoah Valley. And there's a Shenandoah Valley farmer on there. And if you guys follow me on Facebook or Instagram, um, you can sometimes see my photos in the Shenandoah Valley. I show cattle being grass-fed. And um, I thought that that was one of my favorite parts of the whole movie. But really, the most favorite part was uh, several things. Um, it talks about keto. It talks about the keto diet, the keto lifestyle, the keto way of life, however you want to say it, it goes back to ketogenic. Um, and it's, it's awesome. It's, it's basically walking through different patients that they've taken and of different backgrounds. Um, so there's a woman in it, there's a family in it, uh, there's another woman in it. Um, there's these different backgrounds of all starting keto and their experiences with keto. And there's a little girl who, who, who has been having seizures and her experience with it. I mean, so they're, they're testing it out and showing different ways of having, um, my sister is calling me. One second, excuse me. Hi sister, she's dialing me. So I um, loved this video um, because it, it went through and it showed just not one cookie cutter mold, right? And that's kind of the Countess of Low Carb here is that um, I'm gonna stop it because my sister's calling me back so it might be an emergency. Okay, it was not an emergency, but in our family, if you call twice back to back, it means that it's an emergency. So, sorry for a little break in there. Um, so back to the review. So I thought that, and family's the most important thing. So, I thought this movie was great. I also liked how they had scientific research in there. My homeboy, Dr. Fung, where's my book? Oh, I don't have it down here. I was gonna show you my, Dr. Fung, The Complete Guide to Fasting. I'll put it in the description link below. I love that. Dr. Fung to me is the daddy of intermittent fasting, and he was also in this movie. Woohoo! I'm not quite sure why they didn't have Dr. Ken and D. Berry in the movie, because he, you know, I love me some Dr. Ken. He is my brother from another mother. He is awesome, and what he's doing for the ketogenic way of life is incredible. But Dr. Uh, Fung was in this movie, and I thought having the scientific realm into it was really, really good. Um, I like that they showed the farmer's perspective of having, you know, a grass-fed diet and talking about there was a woman who was a vegan and talking about her perspective of the keto diet right um that the count has been making noise that he my counts my husband uh, making noise that he may go vegan and so i thought it was fascinating talking from the vegan perspective about keto um and the whole ecosystem of things i really really enjoyed that probably the most because it was so uh personal to me uh, of, of, of what's personally going on with my family, of thinking about um, the ecosystem, and I live in the Shenandoah Valley, so seeing these animals being grass-fed um, and what that means to the ecosystem, and um, being an animal rights activist, uh, you know, you may or may not know, but my other business is related to dogs and to cats, and I'm huge with animal rescues. That's our big, my family's big charity is with animal rescues. And so with animals and things like so having kind of talking and touching on that I thought was really, really good. It's worth the hour and a half time investment. Again, for me, um, that's quite a lot. Um, but I'm also pulling up here, I had some other notes and I just wanted to make sure I hit on it. Uh, they talked about one of the families was socioeconomically, um, you know, that they were saying that that keto is expensive. And yes, it can be expensive, but there's also inexpensive ways to do keto. And one of which that I am fascinated with now is with my intermittent fasting journey. Um, Y'all will see in uh, the Countess of Low Carb on YouTube, I have other videos that will be coming out of my 41 hour inner, um, my 41 hour fast that I did. 
right? Um, I'm amazed by it. I'm blown away by it. It made my body feel so good. I'm so excited to do another fast today. I'm fasting and it's hour 22 of fasting. I feel great clearly because I'm talking probably way too fast for some of y'all. Uh, but with the intermittent fasting coupled with keto of, um, it does not have to be expensive. And I was talking to my husband, the count, I'm like, this intermittent fasting and this whole fasting thing of we're not buying groceries when I'm fasting. Like that cuts the budget out of, uh, if we're not buying groceries and buying these things because of fasting that any socioeconomic person can, regardless of their level of income, can do the keto. There is a way of doing it and I have had other videos of how you do keto on a budget. It's totally, totally possible. You may not choose always grass-fed beef um, and, and when you're able to afford those things, you do. You do the best because it's the investment back into your body. But you can do keto without having to have grass-fed uh, pro meat products. Um, and Dr. Ken DeBerry, to his credit, talks a lot about that as well in his videos. If you do the best you can with the resources that you have. Um, so I like that the video also touched on that topic too of this family, they ended up buying a full cow and how they did that and things like that. It talked about that too, for their source of, of being smart and being resourceful. And on keto, we are resourceful folks because our brains are clearing up we are more resourceful. So I thought that that was awesome. I liked how they um, went through and the time frame that they that they took for doing the keto diet with these different test panels, I guess you could say the family, the one single lady, um, the other single lady, I thought was so, so good. And then the, weaved into this is, is these interviews um, of, I thought the most, one of the most powerful things was how have we come to this point of, 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 there's not a lot of research with the keto fasting type thing because there's not a lot of money to be made. And in this video, they talk about the money of why we have the American Standard Diet, um, why we have this diet is because corporations like Kellogg's, um, Kraft, these are, I'm naming some, that, and that's not necessarily what they name, but I'm just naming large corporations, have invested money into these research studies because it benefits them financially. And this video talks in the magic pill about that, of how uh, there's money to be made. There's really not that much money to be made in fasting and necessarily in the keto diet, unless you're selling pills, shakes, things like that. And as a businesswoman, they, they, they were talking about, they don't do these studies. And they went on to talk about this gentleman who was getting sued um, uh, for his findings on the keto diet. So low carb type diet, um, it was fascinating. Fascinating, fascinating. It's worth the three bucks, five bucks, whatever it is, or you have to buy it a little bit more than that. It's worth the $7 rental price to watch this, to help you help others. If you have family members um, and you're doing keto, I would strongly encourage you to have them watch it. I'm having the count watch it this weekend on our date night. Uh, lucky count is we're gonna sit on the couch um, with not a bucket of popcorn, <laughs> probably with my Pellegrino, probably with my Pellegrino sparkling water, which by the way, was on sale on Amazon this week. I'll put it in the link below. The price had hijacked because I think I've, I think I've shared it so much. Everyone wants it. So the price has gone up, uh, but there was a sale on it this week. So I'll put that down below in the Amazon link. Um, but I do think strongly this video was awesome. I recommend it. I think it was excellent. And I think that this really is the way we're going to heal our bodies, right? Like I've lost 50 pounds. I have another 50 pounds to go. Weight Watchers certainly didn't make my body the way it is, the way it's feeling to have anxiety gone and not to be on anxiety medication or depression medication. Um, I'm not a doctor, but I do know my own body. And this is my experience with my own body has been life-changing and transformation as a result of the ketogenic way of life and as a result of intermittent fasting. So two golden countants thumbs up. I really loved it. And um, if you like this video, make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, go watch the magic pill. If you're on the fence, it's worth the hour and a half time investment uh, or watch it while you're commuting. You know, if you commute to work or watch it um, as you're you know, cleaning your house or whatever, it's worth the watch. So as always, I'll see you guys soon. Make it a powerful day. Bye.